Our interview with Trevor Reed, the ex-Marine who spent nearly three years in a Russian prison, is speaking out after his release in exchange for a Russian serving time here in the U.S. Reed and his parents sat down with our Russia correspondent, Patrick Ravel. It's amazing to see you here. After 985 days imprisoned by Russia, Trevor Reed is finally free. I remember thinking, like, is this real? You know, you're thinking, maybe this is not happening. Maybe I'm still going to wake up right now in solitary confinement. Earlier this month, the 30-year-old former Marine freed in a dramatic prisoner exchange between Russia and the U.S., traded for a Russian convicted in the U.S. on drug smuggling charges a decade ago. The trade taking place on a runway, recalling a Cold War spy swap. I remember looking at him and he, you know, looked over at me and I think both of us probably had that same feeling, that same thought of, like, that's what that guy looks like. Reed was a presidential Marine who once guarded President Obama, but his nightmare began in summer 2019 while visiting his girlfriend in Moscow. After a drunken party, Reed fell into the hands of Russian police who charged him with attacking an officer. In reality, he and US officials say the case was fabricated by Russia's security services to take Reed as a bargaining chip. I asked, you know, one of those officers, I said, why are you guys doing this? Why did you write this, like, false, you know, accusation against me? And he looked around at the door to make sure that there was no one there. And he looked at the other police officer and he said, we didn't want to write this. They told us to write this. Sentenced to nine years prison, Reed was sent to a forced labor camp. Subjected to harsh treatment, placed repeatedly in solitary confinement, he went on multiple hunger strikes, refusing to work for his captors. I decided right away that I was never going to be part of that process. They were not going to make one ruble off of me. And whatever punishment I received for that, you know, it was worth it to me. I didn't care. But Reed's family never giving up. His father, Joey, spending over a year alone in Russia, repeatedly demonstrating outside the White House. Do you remember the first thing you said to Trevor? I said, I love you. Um, I'm so glad you're home. Gave him a kiss and a hug. A long, long hug. Reed first undergoing intensive counseling on a military base in Texas, but last week discharged. Now he's got us all day long again, so... Uh which we're, we're loving, I'm sure. He, he may need a break Yeah, soon. he's like, oh my God, put me back in prison. I don't know. But, uh. but Reed himself can't stop thinking about another ex-Marine left behind in Russia. Paul Whelan held hostage there for three and a half years on trumped-up espionage charges. You know, I thought when I found out that it was an exchange that was happening that they had probably exchanged Paul Whelan as well. What did you think when you heard that Paul wasn't coming home? Sorry. I thought that, uh, that that was wrong, that they got me out and not Paul. And sorry. I knew that, <clears throat> that as soon as I was able to, that I would, would fight uh, for him to get out and that I would do everything I could to get him out of there. The United States got me out, but they, they left him there. Um, I can't describe to you how, how painful that feeling is. Reed now determined to help get Whelan out and Brittany Greiner, the WNBA star held in Moscow since February on drug charges and who the State Department considers wrongfully detained. Russia has floated the notorious arms dealer Victor Boot as a possible trade for Whelan or Greiner or both. Reed in no doubt whether that should happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Victor Boot has already been in prison for 15 years. If that's for Victor Boot, I don't care. I don't care if it's 100 Victor Boots. They have to get our guys out. Boy, there's a determined young man right there. Patrick, you know, you've been covering this case from the very beginning. What was it like to see Trevor with his family? You know, it was completely incredible, honestly, to see him free here in the United States. We've been covering him for, for so long now. And, you know, this was actually the first time that I'd been able to talk to him, not through the bars of a cage. But he is clearly, you know, tormented by the fate of Paul Whelan. He really, really wants the U.S. to make a trade that could get Whelan home. And he's also very concerned about Brittany Griner. He believes that if they can make a trade, they should get both of those Americans home as soon as possible.
one of the reasons he gave that interview. Great job. Thanks very Thank much. You. you can hear more from Trevor on our special 985 Days, the Trevor Reed interview. That's tonight at 8.30 Eastern on ABC News Live. It's also going to stream on Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.